Okay, we're good to go. All righty. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'd like to call the meeting of the Hammond Redevelopment Commission to order on this Tuesday, March 2nd, 2021. Okay. It is now 4.32. Uh, the meeting will begin. Um, can we get a roll call on tonight's commissioners? Tomich? Yes. Dodo Presley? Yes. Kaspericki? Yes. Myricks? Here. Hopbridge? Here. For the record, all five are present tonight. All five commissioners are present. All right, number two, declaration of conflict of interest. And number three, communications. None were received. Okay, uh, brings us to the number four, homebound conditional forgivable loan approval. Looks like we have two applicants. I did see their faces. And so if, uh, that's for Stephanie Madrigo and Eric Sanchez. Yes. So, um, Mr. Sanchez, how did you hear about our program? Um, I heard it through a uh, realtors looking in uh, Indiana, and um, Man, I asked who the realtor was. Uh, it was a uh, Jennifer uh, Lessenstein. Okay, and uh, are you a first-time home buyer? Yes. Okay, and for you, Miss Stephanie, how did you hear about our program? Uh, through my lender. You lend? Who's your lender? Jerry Zagone. Oh, I know Jerry. Okay, I'm a realtor as well, so. Okay. I just I would uh, like to ask those questions. Are there any questions from anyone else on the uh, commission? Right here. Okay. No, I'll just comment that uh, thank you for taking the time to sign in the Zoom to match a face with the name. So we do appreciate that. Oh, thank you. Mr. President, I make a motion to approve the homebound conditional forgivable loans for Stephanie. Madrigal at 6341 Calumet and Eric Sanchez at 7630 Oakdale. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. That's for the homebound conditional forgivable loan approval for the two applicants. Um, if there's no further questions or discussion, okay, then roll call, please. Tomich? Yes. Donald Presley? Yes. Kaspericki? Yes. Myricks? Yes. Hopbridge? Yes. Uh, motion passes uh, five yes. Uh, congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, if Stephanie and Eric, if you guys want to sign off, you may, but if you want to listen to our whole meeting, you may do so as well. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, uh, number five is uh, emergency program notification for the record, uh, Ramon Santos, 6323 Van Buren. Yes, um, I apologize for my tardiness, <laughs> but yes, Mr. Uh, Santos did uh, receive a furnace. Um, of course, it's getting warmer now, but um, he did receive it once uh, the weather was a little colder. So that's just an update. We don't need to vote on this or need to go anywhere uh, with this? No, it's just a notification, basically, just to notify you all of the funds being used. Thank you for that. Yeah. OK. Thank you for the info and update then. Yeah. No action needed on that then. So number six, uh, approval of proposal for hazardous waste reporting activities for eight Rimbach Street. Um, good evening, commissioners. Um, just to give you a quick update, eight Rimbach Street is a redevelopment owned vacant parcel in our downtown area. Um, we are have um, asked Envio Forensics and Environmental Cleanup Company to look into the site and remediate any issues with it. Um, last February, um, last month in February, the commission approved a um, request to complete a report. Um, this report um, was required by item 
And this is just a notification that um, EnviroFerment Forensics um, submitted the two reports online, on time, um, with a review by Ron Novak, our environmental department head. Um, I don't know if an action needs to be taken on this item, um, but I just wanted to give you an update that the reports were filed on time. Does not sound like actions needed. It, it, it could. Attorney? Thank no. you for that update. You're welcome. For clarification, uh, Attorney Westland, is that correct then? You don't need anything approval on this? No action is required. Just wanted the record to reflect the information. Okay, fair enough. Thanks for the update. Thank you. Okay, uh, moving along is number seven, approval of 2021 season lawn service renewal contracts. It looks for um, Myers Landscaping and Lawn Service. Yes, um, commissioners, this is just a, a yearly contract that the um, commission approves with Meyer Landscaping. I did have HRC staff look into whether the contract was similar to the contract proposed for 2020 or if it was um, a great deal higher and it's pretty much the same as 2020, the numbers. So that's good. So we just need your approval today. There's no further questions. Mr. President, I move for the approval of uh, lawn, 2021 lawn services Second. Okay. For the record, that's a motion and a second. That's a 2021 season lawn service renewal contract for uh, Myers Landscaping and Lawn Service. If there's no further questions or discussion, let's have a roll call. Talmadge? Yes. Soto Presley? Yes. Kasbricki? Yes. Myricks? Yes. Hopper. Yes. Motion passes uh, five yes. Okay. Uh, brings us to number eight acceptance of requests for proposals for sale of real estate or private redevelopment for property commonly known as 403 State Street. Mr. President, members of the commission, you have received one response, and I'm opening that now. You can see it on the And that's a response from uh, Three Corners Development, Madison Construction. Um, <laughs> Corners is proposing to buy the property and use it be able to utilize this parcel as part of a coordinated project with the other things it has going down downtown. And they agree to pay the sum of $7,200. Do we have a list price? We do. I don't remember. And you have that, what was in the RFP offhand? Otherwise, I can look real quick. It says in my packet 7,200. Okay, so they met the. And that's what I have in my packet also. Okay. So we need to refer this to staff to kind of talk to them about their proposed development. I so move. I second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Uh, with no further questions, then uh, roll call, please. Thomas? Yes. Total Presley? Yes. Casbricky? Yes. Myricks? Yes. Hopper? Yes. Uh, motion passes five yes.
Okay, uh, number nine is uh, reports. Uh, we have Ann Anderson tonight. Uh, Ann, would you like to share anything? Um, I don't have any new reports at this time. Okay, thank you, Ann. You're welcome. All right, that brings us to number 10, our bills, register of claims. Uh, Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion to pay the register of claims for January 25th, 2021 through February 24th, 2021 for register of claims R59524 through R through R59631. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. That's the register of claims dating January 25th, 2021 through February 24th, 2021, starting with claims R59524 through claim R59631. Is there any questions for staff on these claims? Okay, then roll call on the claims. Tomich? Yes. Toto Presley? Yes. Pasbricky? Yes. Myricks? Yes. Hopridge? Yes, uh, motion passes, five yes. Okay, uh, number 11, is there no unfinished business? Is there anything tonight to discuss? Yes, commissioners, I have two items I'd like to update you on under new and unfinished business. Um, <clears throat> the redevelopment staff reached out to me and wanted me to remind you that the quarterly letters um, that redevelopment prints out and sends to homeowners who have a loan um, with the city in regards to um, a mortgage, a roof loan, an emergency loan. Um, they were on hold last year in 2020 due to COVID and the financial challenges that we are all having. Um, this quarter, we are also um, putting those mailing of the letters out for now, um, but next quarter we will reevaluate that and give you an update as well. Are there any questions regarding that? Sounds, sounds like the uh, right thing to do, I guess. Thank you for that information. You're welcome. Um, the second item um, is a, an agreement that I believe was emailed out to the commissioners yesterday by the redevelopment staff. It's an access agreement um, that Enviro Forensics sent over to the city um, asking for access to city owned or redevelopment owned property at 15 through 49 State Street. Enviro Forensics is doing some radi radiation work on this site as well. Um, and they need access to the redevelopment parcels in order to do soil board borings. Um, soil testing, all that good stuff. So we just need the approval of this agreement from the commission in order for Enviro Forensics to continue their remediation work. Any questions? So it just sounds strange to me that we have to motion that they can go on to property that we've already contracted with them. So, sounds mm -hmm. strange to me, but I, I mean, I, I, I so move, I don't have a problem with it. I just, just sounds strange. I have a comment, uh, mm -hmm. if, I'm, if I may interject. Would it be because uh, over time, the uh, soil of the property might change due to the, uh, maybe, I don't know, the surrounding structures that have either come down or gone up or? I mean, definitely that, that is where most of the contamination at the site has come from is decades old um, kind of toxic dry cleaners and other in industry that has leached into the soil. 
So in bioforensic, it's just asking for access to the land to do these specific um, testing and soil borings. Okay, thank you for that. Okay, well, uh, Wally, uh, make the motion. I second it. Thank you, Commissioner Myricks. Yes, there was a motion on the floor, and now that you second. Um, so we have a motion and a second. That's for viral forensics uh, to have permission to access our uh, development properties. Can we have a roll call then, please? Tomich? Yes. Dodo Presley? Yes. Kasbricki? Yes. Myricks? Yes. Hopridge? Yes. Motion passes. Five yes. Okay. Does that conclude uh, new and unfinished business? It does. Thank you. Okay. Mr. President, I have a comment. Or do should I save my comment for public comment? <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, no, I, I have a question that perplexes me, and I've thought about it for a while now. I'm not sure that this is the proper uh, arena to present it at, but I'm going to go ahead anyway, and perhaps you can all give me some direction. I was wondering, uh, who do we have that cleans the, um, not cleans, but maintains those parkways you know, those meridians in between the streets where the grass is and, you know, the, the they where they planted trees and all that. Who's, right. who's supposed to do that? Who's in charge of that? I believe the streets department is in charge of the parkways. Did you have a question or a specific concern about them? Actually, I do only because mm -hmm. uh, I've had a lot of questions from a lot of residents. So I thought I would ask, and I've kind of thought about it too. Uh, who cuts the grass and cleans it and schedules the maintenance on all those things? Because I uh, also, when I was approached about it and asked, I kind of took a drive and looked and some of those areas are not being very well maintained. Mm -hmm. And are, are you specific? Uh specifically for a residential parkway in front of residential or businesses? Well, uh, private citizens were the ones that approached me and okay. there were there were some areas in North Hammond and there were some areas over um, on like the, Go not Goslin, the Chicago area over the east part of it where we have our senior citizens and our uh, apartments over there. You know, there's an area there mm -hmm. where that middle part is grass, but I mean, who keeps that up? Because- Well, the grass in the middle of the streets would definitely be the city of Hammond. And if you have any issues with those, you can definitely reach out to us here at City Hall and we could direct it towards streets um, there's also the 311 app that the city has in, where you can punch in addresses and the issue and it goes straight to the department. Um, I believe most parkways in front of residential homes, it's kind of implied that the owners of the home that it's in front of will mow the grass there, even though the trees um, are maintained by the city on those parkways. Okay, but and, you know you know what, Anne? It's yeah. not it's not the parkway immediately connected to the sidewalk. I'm talking about uh, the area that they have in some parts of the city where there's a small section of grass in the middle of the street that's not mm -hmm. even connected to the sidewalks. Mm -hmm. I also know that a lot of the people that came to me and asked me about it were elderly people that cannot cross the street across from their property to cut this lawn or trim it and make it look nice. And upon m me looking at it, I noticed that, yeah, it, it makes the whole area looks very, look very messy because they're not well manicured. Well, Miriam, why don't I reach out to you directly um, tomorrow and I will get the addresses or the blocks that you're discussing. I believe this is definitely an issue for the streets department, but okay, we'll, may, may we'll I research it tomorrow during the day, Anne? 
Um, well, let me reach Perfect. out. And I have meetings okay. tomorrow, so I want to make sure that I'm there when you come by. So All I'll right. reach out to you tomorrow morning. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And thank you, commissioners, for allowing me to uh, ask my question. Okay. Thank you. Um, number 12 now is public comment. If anybody has signed in uh, for Zoom here, public comment is open. You have three minutes, you can speak. Okay, public comment is uh, closed. Number 13. Um, Mr. President, before we adjourn, I just wanted to reach out and say I see that uh, the third district um, councilman Barry Tyler Jr. is on. I didn't know if he had any comments and if he doesn't, that's fine. Just want to acknowledge him. Oh, thanks for that, uh, Mr. Myers. I uh, just happy to be on and sorry I haven't made the last couple uh, I'm going to try to make these every month and I know that one of the residents who just got the approval of the the loan uh, is moving into a home in the third in the third district so happy to reach out to her and congratulate her I see she signed off so just thank you for the good work that you all are doing and uh, trying to get more people into home ownership is something that I'm super supportive of and if there's any way I can help just let me know Thank you, Councilman Tyler. Yeah, congratulations too, Councilman, on your uh, newborn uh, twins. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, well, if there's nothing further and no further discussions, Mr. M uh, President, I make a motion to adjourn. Thank I you. second it. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Can you all signify bye? Aye. Aye. Ayes have it. Meeting is adjourned. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Be safe. Thank you. Bye.